How to install a Hall's popular 8.6 greenhouse. We'll go over the process for installing a greenhouse. Uh, this is a Hall's popular 8.6 that we installed this past summer. Um, once you have the box, uh, get it open and get all the uh, pieces out and remove those uh, uh, bags. But don't unbundle them. Uh, leave them in the bundles. They each have a number on them and it corresponds to a step in the manual. So grab the bundle that's number one and open it and uh, lay out the pieces according to the manual. We're working on the back wall now. All the parts have a part number either stamped into the aluminum or on a sticker. Um, we slowed the video down here so that you can see how the square headed bolts are slid into a channel on the uprights and then used to uh, secure them uh, onto the other pieces. Um, so get everything together and uh, once it's done, uh, move that section out and it's time to start on the next step. Now we'll look at the uh, door end. It's uh, step two and the packages and the box have a number with uh, a two around it uh, held on there with some tape. So open that up and uh, remove everything and lay it out according to the instruction manual. Um, those are the side braces that I put there and that's the top of the door and the supports on the side. So now you slide your bolts in. Not every bolt goes through a channel but all the ones that are on the sides uh, do. So um, uh, lay everything out, uh, get that into place and there it is, it's done. Uh, now we just set that aside and we'll start on the next step which is step number three and that is uh, building the side walls. So lay everything out again and um, get that together. It goes quite quickly and it's actually better to do this uh, here we're working on the floor of a garage. The door should be done in your shop too. There's lots of small pieces. Uh, get it all laid out and uh, this is a detail of the uh, draft guard that goes on either side of the door. Uh, the Hall's manual shows you slipping it in from the end of the, uh, of the um, door pieces but it's actually better to lay it in, uh, in place and use something soft like here I'm using a spoon to um, uh, coax the rubber um, um, draft guard in place. The vent should be built in your shop as well, and unlike the rest of the greenhouse, put the glass in as you build it. To do so, put together the top and two sides, open the sides a little so you can slide the glass in, and once in place, close the sides and put on the bottom of the vent. Remember, you should have already put in the two bolts on the bottom of the side pieces in order to attach the bottom part of the vent. So we've done as much as we can in the shop now and we've transported everything to the job site and we're starting to assemble the frame. And um, uh, this, this part goes really quickly and um, once you get the sidewalls on and it is uh, very helpful for you to have an assistant for this part. It, it's possible to do the, do the whole greenhouse by yourself if you prop things up but it's uh, for uh, certain uh, things it's uh, uh, very useful to have an assistant. So that's the ridge beam that's going on there now and uh, I'm just placing the bolts in that hold the base of the rafters. So there's the first one and the second one. And um, um, they're tightened and um, everything is uh, lined up and in place. We've slowed the video down uh, now so that you can see how I'm inserting a cedar uh, strip uh, underneath the sill plate of the greenhouse. So the sill of the greenhouse sits on a piece of cedar uh, on top of the 4x4 foundation. And I've lined it up and I've, I'm using a measuring stick just to make sure that I measure right into the center of each bay and I'm pre-drilling a pilot hole. These are the only holes that you'll have to drill in the greenhouse. So um, I, I'm putting in the screws and you use stainless steel one and a half inch pan head screws. But I'm not screwing all the way down. I just want to screw about a, maybe a quarter of an inch into the cedar. So, and do that everywhere so that I can actually move the greenhouse a around a little bit to position it properly on the foundation and that's what I'm doing now. Here I'm using a level but I'm not using it as a level, I'm using it as, as a straight edge and I'm just lining, lining it up on the edge of the sill plate so that I can adjust it back and forth and see that it's perfectly straight. It's an important step, you want to make sure everything is uh, square. Time for glazing. Uh, it's not shown in this uh, video, but you'll have to put that little rubber glazing strip that's that little black um, piece of uh, rubber that you see on the left and right hand sides. But I've put a piece of glass down and uh, secured it into place. And now 
Um, every time you do that, if there's a glass uh, pane above it, then you have to put glass retaining clips. And I'm putting the um, uh, uh, spring clips on there now. Uh, here's the sill plate, and I've slowed that down so that you can see this detail. Remember, you would have had to have slid uh, an extra pair of bolts, and I'm just grabbing one of them, um, where you have determined that your, uh, uh, your roof vent will be. So you slide that up, and this, uh, the bottom of the sill plate has a slot in it, and it takes the uh, bolt and secures it into place. And that's done now. Heading over to do the roof vent now, and remember that the roof vent is slid in to the uh, end of the greenhouse. You can't put it in from the front. Now I'm putting uh, the louver on the back wall in the center bay. I've got the left assembly on and I'm putting the right part on. The right part is the one that has the um, little handle. And the louver blades are going in one at a time. There are a total of five. And once you're finished, test it to make sure it opens and closes easily. Here's the finished product. It took us about a half day in the shop to pre-assemble and most of a day to do the assembly on site. There are other videos on the Russell Nursery Halls Greenhouses BC channel that give more detail on installing your greenhouse. Thanks for watching.